Okay, for this one, rather than finding a pyramid or a cone, we're going to find the volume of a prism. And a prism is anything that has two parallel sides, those are the squares, um, and something connecting them, or faces connecting them. So, how do I get to face select? There we go. These are our bases, because they're parallel. And then the height is just the distance here. Draw it like a bracket. That is our height. It turns out it's 4. Look, I successfully drew a 4. And, and each of these sides, whoops, these sides are faces. Er, actually, I might not remember the name for those, but uh, the, the process, the formula that I'm going to show you, will work for square prisms like this, which is also a rectangular prism. It'll work for if it has triangles on the side, anything like that, even circles. But this program doesn't do very good with circles. I might do just a really high number polygon and tell you to assume it's a circle later, but we'll just get started with this for now. To find the surface area, you could go and find each face one by one and add them up. If you can't remember the formula, go ahead and do that, but I'll show you the easier way. It's 2 times capital B. I'm going to write that. Two. That's not what I wanted at all. 2 times capital B, and that stands for area of base. So that's the area of either one of these two. And if we look at it straight down from the top, we can see it's a 2 by 2 square, so the area of the base is 4. I'm just going to plug that in right away. 2 times the area of the base plus... It's important to see why this is a plus sign and not a multiplication. We have 4 is the area of the base, times it by 2, and we have the top and bottom, and then we need to add the area of all four sides. So we could say 2 times 4 and then times 4 to get all of them. But the easier shortcut way that we did in the pyramid one is to take the perimeter of the square and just multiply that by 4. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. 8 times 4. That's the part we need to add to that. And um, I'll just write it over here. That is the surface area. And uh, to work that out, that'll be 8 plus, forgive me, everyone's now shouting at their computer screens, the answer's 32, the answer's 32. which is, of course, 40. So that's the surface area of our very simple little cube thing. Or not cube, but a rectangular prism. And if we needed the volume of it, move this over, the volume is equal to, and this is the easiest thing to find the volume of, it's just the area of the base, which we already had, but um, the area of the base is its length times its width, 2 times 2, in this case, is 4. If it was a triangle, say if it was, you know, this section of it, then we would say 1 half times 2 times 2, and then we would find all the rest of it. If it was a circle, we would, we would find the radius, which would be 1, and we would say pi r squared, and so it would just be pi, and that's how you generalize this to any other thing. If it was an octagon, which is harder to draw, but it just looks like a circle. If it was an octagon, then we would do, uh, then we would find the area of that octagon and multiply that by the height. So, so that's the area of the base, that's a capital B that we, that we wrote before, and we multiply that by the height. So it's 4 times 4, not 4.4, 4, not 4 point crazy number. And 
again, I'd, I'd, I'd like to emphasize this, is that for this one our answer is in square units, whatever our unit is, because it's all surface area, it's all length times width. And then over here, with volume, we took a length times a width times a height, and my drawing didn't turn out well at all. But that's what we're doing. A length times a width times a height, so that's three things multiplied, actually, because this 4 is a product of a 2 and a 2. I probably should have drawn that out. But you know that it's 2 times 2 times 4, length times width times height. And that comes out to be 16. That's the volume of our really simple rectangle thing. Um, and again, just to restate, if it had been a pyramid or a cone, we would use mostly the same process of finding the base and the height, and by base I mean the area of the base. They really should come up with a different name, but, you know, the capital B and the height, and then if it's a cube or a triangle, you just multiply by one-third. So there you go. That surface area and volume of prisms. Just don't forget the two. Have a good one.